What is going on, Ship Army? It is Ahmed, and I am back today with yet another video for you all. And today, guys, we're going to be talking about Shiba Inu and what to expect tomorrow because we have 24 hours remaining before the big event that is the FOMC meeting. Now, never financial advice, just putting you guys on the plays that I'm in. The crypto market is still looking really bullish. Bitcoin above 28,000, right around 28.3. Ethereum above 1,800. And Shiba Inu doing its thing, currently sitting at 10,940. Satoshi's up 3.64% on the day. So we have 24 hours. We can tell by social sentiments overall, people are looking forward to the FOMC meeting because right now there might be something that was unexpected. And that is Jerome Powell coming out and giving us information regarding rate hikes. Now, pay attention always to the Federal Reserve um, website and look at their calendar. So tomorrow, Wednesday, the 22nd, right around 2 p.m. is the FOMC meeting and the press conference. Will they'll be discussed? They'll be discussing information, and also you could see at 4:15 they'll talk about the selected interest rates for the month moving forward. Now, the thing we need to understand is the expectation prior to all the bank failures was anywhere between a 0.25 to a half basis point. So actually, 0.5 was still on the table. But we saw what they did back in February, which was a quarter basis point. But now there's speculation. And some big name figures that are out there are saying a 0% interest rate increase or maybe even a pivot where they actually decrease interest rates by a quarter percent might be the move. We saw Elon Musk getting vocal on Twitter saying we need the Fed, the Federal Reserve to pivot. And they said this from a place or he said this from a place that he thinks data is not tracked in terms of interest rates and rate hikes, it's not in coordinates with current current events in terms of the inflation rates. So he thinks there's lag that occurs with the data that is presented versus what true inflation looks like. And Jerome Powell, of course, he is the person that gets to make the final decision. He works with his team over at the Federal Reserve to make final determinants because what they care about is reducing inflation in the United States. Because if we ever go into a hyper deflationary state or even a deflationary state, people will start to panic. And of course, goods and services become a lot more expensive, which over time devalues the dollar. And that is a fear of any centralized government is the value of their currency dropping. We've seen it in Venezuela. I've seen it where I'm from, Sudan, where the central bank in said countries wasn't able to get inflation under control to now where it's hyperinflation and their currency becomes useless. Now, I don't believe that this is going to happen to the dollar because the United States has a big say, or the US dollar, I should say, has a big say in a lot of different countries. I'm talking globally speaking. So again, make sure you're staying tuned. I will update you guys as soon as we hear what interest rates, what's going to happen with interest rates, but pay attention to the market. It's going to be volatile, but I'm telling you right now, the overall sentiment is positive. If we look at the Bitcoin fear and greed index, you see that a lot of individuals are starting to push money into crypto. The Bitcoin fear and, fear and greed index is at a 10 month high. It's currently sitting at greed of 68, meaning the higher it is, the more greedy people get. So understand what that comes with. And that is my favorite quote of pretty much all time when it comes to the macro and microeconomic markets. And that is when people are fearful, that is the time to get greedy. And when people are greedy, that is the time to be fearful. And that is Mr. Warren Buffett's quote himself. But again, the market is looking good. We're starting to see greed. We're starting to see more people coming in. And let's see what happens. Do appreciate your support as always. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Consider smashing the like button, subscribing to the channel, and getting your 17 free stocks with Mumu down below, as well as checking out the, Qu the TQM channel or the quintessential millennial. And until next time, everybody, keep investing. Peace.